All right, Florida Stacker back with you. We've got five more ounces of silver today. We're going to look at the 2022 Silver South African Krugerrand. Let's get started adding more silver to the stack. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It has been a few weeks since I've had a video out. Thank you all for your patience. We did have uh, a battle with the COVID virus here in the family for a couple of weeks. Had a uh, unfortunate um, event. One of our family members on my wife's side did pass away. Had family come into town. Had a funeral and uh, had to catch up with life and my job after, uh, you know, being sick for so long. So anyways, we're back. We're back to stacking silver. It is February 13th. Thank you all for being here. So I've got five ounces of the South African Krugerrands. All right, let's talk about the Krugerrands for a second. Let's go ahead and grab this 2020 version here, okay? So uh, Krugerrands, pretty famous, all right? Krugerrand coins, well, they once dominated the realm of bullion coins. It was the first gold coin that was uh, considered investment-grade gold. That is the 1967 gold Krugerrand. Now, back in 2017... The South African Mint decided to come out with the silver version. So you could start stacking silver bullion Krugerrands back in 2017. So here we are looking at a 2022. Still a pretty, uh, actually it's a 2020, but uh, we do have those 2022s to show you. This is a pretty, uh, what I would consider to be famous silver bullion coin. All right, so this is right up there with the American Silver Eagle, the uh, Silver Britannia, the Maple Leaf when it comes to notoriety. Yeah, pretty much any coin shop in the world knows about the Krugerrand, and if they don't, they shouldn't be in business, all right? So when you're buying South African Krugerrands, you're, you're buying a piece of history. You're also obviously investing in three nines fine, bullion grade silver. So we've got the uh, 2021 here, too. Let's go ahead and bring both of them up, 2020, 2021. And as you can see, I'm a pretty big fan of the Krugerrands. I like to buy one tube of these Krugerrands each year, you know, stack them up. I like to do it uh, a few coins at a time, right, with my weekly precious metals order. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to shop for those lowest prices. So let's talk about some of the reasons that you may consider the Krugerrand. Well, first of all, it is a one troy ounce silver coin. It has a face value of one rand that is backed by the South African government. That means really nothing, honestly, other than it's a coin. You do have the spring bock antelope on the back of the coin and Paul Kruger, on the other side, so here's the 2022. Now the Krugerrands are pretty simple. You don't have a whole lot of uh, flair like you do with the Britannia. Uh, it's still a very classic designed silver coin. It's kind of got that matte silver finish without all the proof-like surfaces. Uh, it's a real nice coin in my opinion and can be had at a lower premium than American Silver Eagles and the Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. So this one competes in my mind with the Silver Britannia when it comes to price and also quality. Now, some would argue the Britannia is uh, more beautiful, and I think they're right. The Britannia is a more beautiful silver coin, but it really doesn't matter, okay? It really doesn't matter if you're just stacking away because you want something that is well-known, easy to buy and hold, and also easy to sell, okay? There's really no difference when it comes to the Britannia and the Krugerrand other than preference. So if you go to a coin shop and you got a tube of Britannias or Krugerrands, uh, likely they're going to they're buy both, right? There's There's not going to be... Uh, you know, any reason why they wouldn't accept the Krugerrand over the Britannia. Now, same thing goes with the Kangaroo. The Kangaroo also falls in this category and the Philharmonic from Austria. Now, I personally like the Britannia and the Krugerrand a little bit more than I like the Kangaroo and the Philharmonic. And, and that's just because they seem to be better known. There seems to be a little bit more of um, uh, demand here in the United States for uh, Britannias and Krugerrands over the Philharmonics and the Kangaroos. Now, uh, your mileage may vary. That's just my experience. And uh, I don't know everything, <laughs> clearly. And I'm only relating those experiences to you to hopefully uh, help you out with what I've learned during my stacking journey. So uh, let's talk about the Krugerrand. The South African Krugerrand is the world's oldest gold bullion coin. We touched on that. It was issued for purposes of investment and collection, okay? All right, so back in the 60s, there weren't many options. There were no options, actually, when it came to an investment grade, uh, one troy ounce silver or gold coin. Uh, this series once more launched in 1967 with just those gold coins and, of course, silver in 2017. One troy ounce, three nines, fine. Great looking silver coins. So now let's take a better, closer look at them. All right, so we'll grab 
Paul Kruger here. We'll get two of them up in the camera. And uh, yeah, so real nice, pretty simple, basic silver coins. These are great for someone looking to stack silver. They want a coin and not a round, and they don't want to pay the high premiums of uh, the silver eagle. And, uh, you know, these are $2 cheaper than these silver Canadian maple leaves. So uh, you're getting the same amount of silver. You're getting a very well-known coin. And it's also one that has a pretty big uh, cult following, okay? So uh, there are those out there, and you'll see them down in the comments section because they'll inevitably find this video, those fans of the South African Krugerrand. So uh, what are your thoughts on the South African Krugerrand? Obviously, as mentioned, a competitor with the Britannia, which seems to be a little bit more uh, popular, especially after the 2021 update to the Silver Britannia. But uh, once more, these are just great silver coins. And I got pretty lucky because I don't see any milk spots on these particular Krugerrands. Now, the milk spots can happen with the Krugerrands, Britannias, Kangaroos, uh, even the Silver Eagles. You tend to see them more on the Britannias and the uh, uh, Krugerrands, though, than the others, which uh, is unfortunate because they're both great silver coins. So there you go, guys. We've got the 2022 Silver Krugerrand. Got five of them. Going to definitely be stacking more of these. Let me go ahead and show you the tube that these fit in. Uh, so this is the Medallion 66 tube. You can obviously buy the mint tube directly from the South African mint that will hold 25. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just, uh, let's find that 2021. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. And I think this is the, no, that's a 2022. 2022, there it is. Yeah, they all look the same other than the date, right? So there's the 2020. And uh, it's pretty simple what I do. Same old thing I always do when I'm putting my coins in the tube. I just go ahead and stack them up five high. All right, just like that. Get them nice and together. Drop the tube over the top. Just uh, one finger in there to push it down. And there you go. So these uh, Guardhouse Medallion 66 tubes, I do have a link for them down below, as well as where I buy these gloves and uh, also some uh, eBay auctions that I have going on. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, all that information will be down in the video description section. So five more ounces of silver, my first Krugerrands for 2022. Let's get 15 more of these. And then we'll get on to the Silver Canadian Maple Leafs for 2022. We already have a couple of those. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I will have some more 90% silver as well as uh, American Silver Eagles. I've got quite a few, actually, uh, shipments that came in over the last couple of weeks of silver coins to show you here on the channel, some more unboxings. Also going to have some more uh, awareness videos on some really um, uh, big news going on in some of the mining companies that I've been following. So we'll have some of that information to come out. Uh, but mostly a lot of silver coin unboxings here over the next two weeks. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. Please consider subscribing to the channel and following along because we're on a mission here to stack silver. And I'd love to see you join along. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Happy to be back. Keep stacking, my friends. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.